Hi, welcome back. I am super excited to paint pour on a space rocket wood birdhouse that I purchased at my local Michaels Arts and Crafts store. I am using some older paints that I mixed for a previous project. Since they were sitting around a little bit, they did thicken and I added a small amount of water to bring them back to fluid consistency. I will list all products I am using in the description box below. Let me know what you think about this project by clicking the thumbs up button and letting me know what your thoughts are in the comment box below. I am layering my paints into my pour cup in no particular color order. Instead of sliding the colors down on the side of the cup, which helps to create layers, I decided I wanted to dump the colors into the center of the cup to see how they will mix. This part of my project is super fun. set my pour cup aside once it is filled and then I will start to cover my wood birdhouse with a base layer of paint. This layer will help my paint pour cup flow easier over the surface of the rocket. Now that the rocket has been covered with my base layer, it is time to pour the colors over the rocket. I am pouring the paint starting at the top and slowly moving it around in circles around the top so that the paint will flow as evenly as possible down to the bottom. I think this is starting to look pretty neat, but I want to add another layer of the colored paint on top of this to see what happens. Look how different this is already. This is looking good. I will let this sit and dry for 24 hours. Once the surface is dry to the touch, I will start adding the accent detail onto the space rocket. Using some black sparkle glitter glue, I will trace the detail lines on top of the rocket. This will add a little bit of bling and sparkle to our project. Now, using some black craft paint, I will paint the legs and the bottom of the space rocket. I found a cup that I can rest the nose of this rocket in to let the black paint dry easily. I almost forgot about the little post beneath the hole. This needs to be black as well. I also decided to add a little bit more sparkle around this post and around the legs of the rocket. I will place the nose of the rocket in a cup and let this dry upside down for 24 hours. Now that all of the paint and glitter glue has dried, it is time to seal. I like to use Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Spray Enamel. It is fast drying and non-yellowing and gives a nice glossy finish to all my projects. I highly recommend getting a handle to put on top of the spray bottle. This handle makes spraying super easy and my hands don't hurt anymore. After I add two layers of the clear paint onto my project, I will let this dry for at least 24 hours before adding a small eye screw into the nose of the rocket and stringing it with some twine. I had so much fun making this project, I can't wait to see if any of the birds will make this their home. Let me know in the comment box what you think about this project. Thank you for painting with me and I will see you in the next video.